What do you mean by, platform as a service, software as a service, and infrastructure as a service? Infrastructure as a service. Do you know what it takes to build an infrastructure for an organization? And when we think about infrastructure, think about the underlying components of any application. For example, a server hardware is like routers, switches, firewalls, the underlying cabling, and then everything that goes with the physical infrastructure. You need a lot of security monitoring log access, load balancing, clustering, storage, resiliency, backups, and this list can just go endless. These are the services that an application will need for it to function properly. The infrastructure as a service provider will supply this range of services to you as a service. So, you do not have to go ahead and create that infrastructure on your premise. Infrastructure as a service is the most basic category of cloud computing services. With infrastructure as a service, you rent the infrastructure servers, virtual machines, storage networks, and operating systems. The user is responsible for installation, configuration, and management of the software inside that operating system. But the cloud provider is responsible for ensuring that the underlying cloud infrastructures, virtual machine, storage, and networking is always available for the user. Platform as a service Platform as a service provides an environment for building, testing, and deploying software applications. Let's understand this. Developers are responsible for building great applications that we have today. They are very good at writing great code and making sure that the application works and performs at its best. But one of the major roadblocks that developers have is they do not have an understanding of the underlying infrastructure where the application will be hosted. For example, the developer may not know what encryption is and what backups are. The platform as a service provides an environment for building such applications so that the developer does not have to worry about those concepts and can focus on writing the best code. For example, when deploying a web application using platform as a service, you do not have to install an operating system. You do not have to even take care of the Windows updates or install the antivirus on the machine. Platform as a service is a complete development and deployment environment in the cloud. The cloud user or the developer is responsible for the development of their own applications. However, they are not responsible for managing the server or the underlying infrastructure. The cloud provider is then responsible for operating system management and network and service configuration. Software as a service is a method of software delivery that allows data to be accessed from any device with an internet connection and a web browser. In this SaaS-based model, software vendors host and maintain the seller's database and the code that constitute the application. First the companies do not have to invest in extensive hardware to host the software. And this in turn, allows buyers, to outsource most of the idea responsibilities. A major benefit of SAS is being able to spread out costs over time. Some of the examples that you can talk about, is Office 365, which is a cloud-based email delivery model from Microsoft. The other examples are Salesforce, Facebook, and Gmail, because you do not have to install anything, all you need is a browser, and a login with the user and password given by the cloud SaaS provider, 